Alright, welcome to this new video. Here I am going to present to you the entire process of modeling an anime face for this character that we're going to use. The name of this character is Ghost and we created a character sheet for him standing in front so that we can define the colors, the mood, the general look and feel and also the shadow uh, design that he was going to use, that he is going to be using in this entire process. So, here is some of the parts that you can see completed already on his face, okay? But the main purpose of this series, of this series of videos, is to show you how the entire thing goes along without speeding up, because I find that most of the time, a lot of people, a lot of artists, want to follow the exact steps but somehow the video is fast forward. So this is a, a, a video for you to watch it at almost 1.8 times speed. Okay, so here I'm using the uh, Photoshop U to UVs option to, so I can know where to paint. And I'm designing the eye just like the reference so that we can add specular highlights or other outlines around the eye like this little glows over here and the shadows on the top part. We're going to see all of that come together when we reassign this texture to the face. We are also going to be covering the UV space aspect of it because I see that most of the time again it's just fast forward like you're seeing right here and you don't really know what the user is uh, doing rather. So this is the intended purpose so that we can reach a character that looks like this. So let's start from zero to hero right now. This is the modeling part and I'm going to be only talking for the first uh, few minutes and now you're going to be watching this entire series from here on. Thank you. As always, if you have any question, please don't forget to write them in the comment section down below. Tag me in the time where you need to know what happened in the video, okay? So you can fast forward this at 2x, 3x, whatever speed you need, but this is just 1.8 speed, alright? So the intended purpose for this is that you can watch where the cursor is going, what commands are using, uh, what commands are being used, I'm sorry, the modifiers, the modifier settings, everything. Nothing is going to be sped up in this series of videos, so I hope you really find this helpful. Thank you very much.
Yeah.